main components. The loading crane consists of a base frame with the outriggers and the support cylinders, a rack and pinion slewing mechanism, or a continuous slewing mechanism, the crane column with the main lifting cylinder, the main boom with knuckle boom cylinder, the knuckle boom with the extensions and the extension cylinders. The energy for operating the crane is provided by a hydraulic pump, which is driven by the vehicle's power takeoff, and which conducts the energy via a high pressure filter to the crane's control valve. The return line leads to the hydraulic tank, which is either directly installed on the crane or separately mounted on the vehicle. Cranes with high duty cycles or cranes used in hot climatic areas are usually equipped with an oil cooler which has to be suited to the crane installation. The hydraulic pump is switched on and off via the truck's power takeoff as is the electrical supply of the crane. During crane operation, it's essential to adhere to the motor speed specified by the installer. It's important to know that an increase in RPM does not yield an increase in lifting capacity. On the contrary, any increase in motor speed increases the oil flow. This leads to oil heating and has an effect on the controllability of the crane. Each crane is equipped with load holding valves, which are installed for safety reasons and hold the cylinders in their position. As automatic shutoff valves, they prevent the unintended lowering of the load, even if the motor is switched off. The additional hydraulic hose kit is an often chosen option, as it's necessary to support additional equipment, such as grab, rotator, various manipulators, or a second knuckle boom, the so-called fly jib. Additionally to the standard hook operation, every crane can be operated with a hydraulic rope winch, which significantly increases the usability of the crane.